Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today another Linux OS review. Today we're taking a look at Zubuntu 15.10. Now the 15.10 series just came out, however, I've been playing around with Zubuntu here uh, on my system for oh, I guess about a week or so, so I've had, a had some time to kind of run us through the paces and, and see what's changed and whatnot. Not a lot has changed, but some of the changes I think are kind of significant. Um, a couple of them are, are things that I think that uh, that should have been done some time ago, but uh, uh, you know, kind of enough of that. Um, just kind of backing up on the whole Zubuntu thing. This has long been the distribution that I recommend people go to if they're looking for something that has a Ubuntu code base, so you know, fairly stable. Uh, and uh, while at the same time being fairly light as well, you know, if you go to the regular Ubuntu uh, with the Unity desktop, you're looking at a baseline of oh, 750, 800 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I am, let me go pull over the system monitor here. With running a screen recorder, cheese webcam, and a couple of background processes, I'm roughly at that same same amount of memory. I'm, I'm at 8:56 right now, 8:57, something like that. My baseline was right around 300 megabytes of RAM. So, you know, right after I turn the system on, you know, just your basic stuff running, right around 300. So, uh, you know, less than half of the uh, of the memory that something like uh, Unity Desktop or or even the GNOME Desktop uses. So. Um, you know, you need a lightweight desktop, but still want to have plenty of features at the same time. This is a good, good operating system to go with. So anyway, looking around at what we've got, um, you know, we're, we're running XFCE for our desktop environment, uh, version 4.12. So we've got the latest version of XFCE and for the most part, I've always thought of the, the theming of, um, of Zubuntu to be kind of plain vanilla XFCE you know some distros that you that use XFCE they go all out on the theming and whatnot um, here they keep it fairly basic uh, you know some people may like you know hey let's let's dress it up a bit but at the same time it does prevent present that kind of uh, you know it's a blank canvas sort of thing so that you can go and theme it and tweak it the way that you like um, I will say this wallpaper right here, it's really not my thing. So I am going to change that. So let's just go to our desktop settings and you can see they've got, you know, a, a decent number of different, uh, uh, backgrounds available. Here is, I think that was from the previous version. Um, I like that better than what, uh, than, than the one we just had up there. But, uh, I think I'm going to go with, uh, one of these nature scenes here. Yeah, I like that. And then while you're in this dialog box, you could go and play around with your desktop menu a bit if you like, and then uh, play around with what icons are visible. Personally, I am the kind of person that I don't like any icons on my desktop at all. So if you like, you can go through here and get rid of all those. That's kind of how I like my desktop. If you're the kind of person that wants icons on the desktop, hey, leave them there. Um, while we're on the subject of theming, let's let's take a look at. Let me open up System Settings. We'll talk a little bit about. Uh, sorry about that can't talk and type at the same time go to settings manager and we will look at uh, some of our theming here uh, if you go to where it says window manager that'll let you look at the various themes that they've got available not a huge number but uh, there's a decent number available this gray bird accessibility I believe is new I don't uh, I don't remember seeing it uh, previously. I don't know if uh, if the uh, Zubuntu team developed it or if it's one that they just added. But uh, I was kind of looking at it earlier today. Um, I think it's pretty nice looking uh, theme there. Um, personally, I've all, I've for ever since uh, XFCE 4.12 came out, this default theme, which is sort of a, I guess you could think of it as a rehash of. Um, 
the Adewa theme from uh, from the Gnome team. Um, I've long been a, a fan of that. You know, like I said, ever since that came out. But uh, you know, theming's one of those really personal things. What works for one person, another person hates, and whatnot. So uh, um, you know, set it up the way you like it. One of the new features that we see in this release is the XFCE panel switcher. Let me open it up here. There we go, panel switcher. So this current, we've got the current configuration right here, which is, they list it right here, and is actually the same as this uh, Zubuntu Modern down here at the bottom of the list. But got all these various uh, panel configurations preloaded for you. So you can go and say you don't want a layout like this. You want to go with uh, something similar to the old GNOME 2. Select GNOME 2, click the little gear icon here, and uh, boom, we get the you know a dual panel setup that is, like I said, similar to what we had back in the GNOME 2 days. Um, you know, not, not a bad layout. Uh, we got this Redmond. Uh, which gives us a panel across the bottom uh, with the old old style uh, uh, menu XFCE 412. Let's take a look at that one. That puts the panel back up at the top, and uh, it also gives us a dock-like panel across the bottom. Zubuntu Classic, which gives us uh, once again panel across the top. We've got the traditional style drop-down menu. Uh, and once again, a panel across the bottom for uh, for uh, to function as a dock. And then this Zubuntu Modern, which is what we had by default, which gives us the whisker menu for a uh, menu combined with a search, and, and so on and so forth. So, neat feature there. So let's talk a little bit about software because that's one of our big changes for this release. Traditionally, Zubuntu used Abbey Word for word processing and GNumeric for spreadsheets. They have scrapped those in favor of LibreOffice Writer and LibreOffice Calc. Now, I can sort of see both ways in that, or you know, use both sets of software. I think that LibreOffice offers a lot more functionality than uh, Abbey Word and GNumeric. Having said that, uh, the previous two, you know, Abbey Word and, and GNumeric, they are lighter on the resources, and probably for 99% of people, they're going to get the job done and have all the tools that you would want. So while I can't fault uh, the the LibreOffice team for going with LibreOffice and and really I prefer the change. I can see how you know some people might not like the change. Luckily, both both Abbey Word and GNumeric are available through the Software Center. So if you want to go and install those and and get rid of LibreOffice, you can do that. Now the one thing I will say about the change to LibreOffice, they went to this elementary icon theme. Personally, I do not like it, uh, and 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 why this is, I don't know. But the themes that I uh, or icon themes for LibreOffice that I do like, which are the breeze theme, and uh, what's the other one? I think it's called Cipher. They're not installed by default. Now you can go and install them yourself. Uh, they're available in the regular software repositories. Why they don't install those by default, I, I don't get it, but. Anyway, I, I, I much prefer those two themes to the uh, either that elementary theme or the the uh, the tango and the human icon themes. Uh, personally, I, I think they're much more of modern themes. So the remaining pre-installed software is stuff that we've seen for at the very least a few uh, releases of Zubuntu. However, there's probably those of you that are watching this video that are new to Zubuntu, so I will go and do a quick run through of all the software that's installed, and uh, you know, just give you an idea of what's what's uh, what's pre-installed. So we've got our archive manager, we've got a calculator, catfish file search, uh, we've got our file manager, which is the excellent Thunar file manager. Uh, excellent, very lightweight, while at the same time plenty of functionality. Um, 
at the same time, you can add even more functionality to it, uh, custom actions, that sort of thing. And uh, I'll throw a link down below to a video I did some time ago on how to add custom actions to Thunar, give you a lot, a lot more uh, functionality out of that uh, out of that file manager. Not that it's bad uh, to begin with. Like I said, it's real nice file manager. Anyway, Milespad is our text editor. We've got our uh, note-taking app. Orange Globe Time is uh, our time settings. We've got a screenshot tool. We've got our terminal, XF Burn, for uh, burning DVDs, CDs. Uh, under Education, got LibreOffice Math. Under Games, we've got Minds and Sudoku. Graphics, we've got our PDF viewer, our image viewer, and then our scanning tool. Uh, under Internet, we've got Firefox for our web browser, Pigeon Internet mess, uh, for uh, Internet Messaging. Uh, Thunderbird for our email transmission for uh, uh, BitTorrent client. Under multimedia, uh, we've got Brazero, which is another DVD burner. Um, I added cheese. Uh, that's what you see down here in the corner. And then also Kazam for doing the uh, the webcasting here. And just a kind of a little note. Normally, I use Simple Screen Recorder for doing my uh, my recording. However, uh, they have not updated the Simple Screen Recorder PPA so that I could install Simple Screen Recorder. I was going to uh, install it uh, from source, but unfortunately there, there were some unmet dependencies. So I say, hey, I'll work with, uh, with Kazam for now until they get that sorted out for the 15.10 uh, series. Anyway, getting back to our software. Parole Media Player um, does a pretty good job of, of uh, you know, playing just about any media that you throw at it. Personally, I like uh, VLC better, um, but Parole is pretty good. And then we've got our uh, Pulse Audio Video Volume Control. Office, of course, we've got the LibreOffice series that we already talked about. Uh, we've got our dictionary. Once again, they're listing the document viewer. Um, and then besides the orange globe time, we've also got the orange calendar. Settings is most of the stuff that's going to show up under your uh, under your system settings. Uh, you know your uh, your about me section, the the accessibility, your appearance, um, setting up your monitors, your displays, your keyboard, all that kind of thing. And then under system, we've got. Um, the system monitor I added so I could monitor uh, RAM, CPU usage, that sort of thing. We've got our task manager. Um, I also added synaptic package manager. And then Gigolo is for our, uh, our internet. Stability with this distribution has been fantastic. Uh, you know, I haven't had any crashes or, or anything like that. Um, you know, everything has worked right out of the box. The only little thing that I have run into has been the simple screen recorder issue. And, you know, hey, it's the, the, uh, the distribution was just released. Give them some time to, uh, you know, get the, get the software packaged for, for working with, uh, uh, the 15.10 series so I you know I really can't complain about that since it's so early days for the uh, uh, for this release um, but you know other than that everything like I said it has worked right out of the box so you know if you want a rock solid distribution you know bam here it is right here and uh, so having said that I think that is about it for this review uh, I know it wasn't real long, but like I said, there's not a lot of stuff that's new here. Um, and, and the stuff that is new, it was fairly easy to cover fairly quickly. So uh, it is what it is, I guess, as they say. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, give us a big old thumbs up. Uh, as always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below, and I will get to it as soon as possible. I am going to try to get... Uh, my reviews of everything in the uh, Ubuntu 15.10 series completed within the next week or so. So be on the lookout for those videos. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I hope to see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot. <laughs>